right, so we've got a system that's not priming. Well, that's what the report is. When we're setting the off position, we'll go ahead and set it to automatic. We'll hold to start. And yes, that's a dry pump. And no water coming out of there. We'll go ahead and close this guy up. We're gonna need to prime this pump. We'll shut that down and we'll grab our guzzler. And with the ball valve closed to the field, we're only working with the pump itself and the check valve or the incoming line. Once we got this nice and tight connected, we can use our guzzler to manually draw the water up from the well. Every time I pull this out, it's pulling water up. Every time I push, it's pushing the air out. I'm pulling, actually pulling air, but also the water with it. And I'm trying to evacuate all of the air from this line. And while I'm doing that, it's pulling the water up to the check valve. And if the check valve hasn't failed, the water will make it past the check valve and stay there. You can feel it when the water gets close. And there we go. Now that we've got water all the way to the head of the pump, we'll go ahead and disconnect the hose, turn the pump on, and allow it to pull out all the air because that is a self-priming pump, but we don't want to burn it out trying to prime the pump all the way from the bottom of that well. Well, there's no more air left. We'll go ahead and cycle through all of the zones attached to this controller so that we can push any air out of the system. And that's how you use a guzzler to prime a pump.